today I'm just going to talk about your homework assignment. As you can see here, I've built a very simple sample game. This is your homework. If I run this, obviously you don't have to do exactly the same thing. You can be creative and build your own game. I'm just going to start this game. Press 1 and enter. Start game. This is a 10 by 10 grid. PL stands for player. EN stands for enemy. And that thing right there is an axe. And I can move around the player. E as in east. S as in south. North as in north. You know, it's a very simple grid and a simple movement scheme. Now, I'm not going to show you my code because I want you to do it on your own. I've built this only using the stuff that I talked about from video number 0 to 11, which is mostly structs and primitive data types. First, let me just show you my game. Let's go to the enemy and see what happens. I'm going to step into the same grid as the enemy, go south from here. You see a scary looking enemy. You can either hit him or say hello. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to say hello to enter. The enemy is angry. He's attacking me. I'm going to hit him back. One, enter. And you can now see that both of the HPs are going down. I'm going to attack him a couple more times. I'm almost dead. If I hit him one more time, he's going to attack back. I'm dead. From here, you can repeat the game loop, which is just a while loop, or you can press two and quit. And again, these are stuff that I talked about. For loops, while loops, if statements, see in, see out, structs, and data types. Now I'm going to return to main menu, start the game again. This time I'm going to go towards the axe. You see a $500 axe on the ground. I'm going to press 1, enter, pick it up. You pick up the axe, you feel better about yourself. Now I'm going to go towards the enemy. Now that I have the axe, I should have the upper hand this time. One, hit enemy. I'm going to keep hitting him. We haven't talked about stuff like pointers, references, or data structures, but you can still build a game. It's going to be hard. I had a quite a hard time trying to write this with only the stuff that I talked about. I limited myself. But if you're starting out, it's a different kind of a problem. You're just not used to writing logical steps in code, but you should give it a try. I don't care what you do, just use everything that you know. You're going to run into problems because you're going to see results that you didn't really intend and you can't figure out what's going on. You need to do a lot of Googling, a lot of debugging, check your variables and functions. You're going to be spending a lot of time sitting down and trying to figure things out. I remember my very first game. I had a bunch of variables here. Everything was global. Lots and lots of variables. And then I had hundreds and hundreds of lines of ifs, while loops, different functions. But again, I don't care what you do. I don't care how ugly your code is, at least for now. The first step to coding is to start coding. Be creative, have fun, and come up with your first game using texts and symbols in your first console window. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can reach me on my Discord server. I have all the links below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.